We are in the third grade practice book. We will be working on page 76 today. Genre, text feature. Women in Congress. Today, many members of the United States Congress are women. It hasn't always been that way. No woman, women had ever served in Congress before 1916. That year, Jeanette Rankin from Montana was the first woman to be elected to the House of Representatives. She was elected even before women had the right to vote. Then, in 1922, Rebecca Felton from Georgia became the first female senator. And here's a chart, number of, cents, number of states, states represented by women, states not represented by women. We can go up to the top here. And this one almost goes to the number 20, and this one goes a little bit past 30. So I'd probably say this is like 32, and this one's like 28, something like that. Very close, maybe 29, 31. Um, it's not exactly accurate, but it's close. How can you tell this is expository text? There are facts and dates. So this is true. Remember, expository means true. Nonfiction. What two text features does this text include? So the text has a title in bold, that's a text feature, it has bold writing, and it also has a um, table here. So there's bold writing, bold text, and title, and a table, or a tr you could call it a chart with information. It's also called a graph a bar graph. What is the text heading? What heading might the text feature have? The text heading is women in Congress. And the text feature here, this graph here, we might wanna name it something like states represented by women or women representing states. So, women, the number, it's the number of women, number of women representing states. That's what that graph tells us. What does the bar graph tell you? The bar graph tells us there are 32, I'm going to say about, about 32 states are represented by women, 28, I'm gonna say about 28 are not 